Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. My yarn adventure is It's Raining Happy Mail. The last couple of days I received quite a bit of happy mail. Um, I, I would have opened it yesterday, but after work I was really, really tired. It's been a busy week at work. And my knee still bothers me quite a bit. <laughs> so, you want to join me in opening all this happy mail? Um, the video will probably stop and start a few times because it's pretty big happy mail. I've opened the top. Ta da! This was not to hide the dresses. The first one I received two days ago. And um, of course, it's from my subscriber Janice who is getting all the wool fibres out of her craft room so and she's in Victoria in lockdown so obviously it's keeping her busy so thank you Janice parcel number one so shall we have a look I had a bit of a sneak I got really excited because there he is wow. all this pink yarn and for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know I'm doing Pink October. It is, this is really not cheap wool. Clegg uh, Heaton's Country 8 Ply, three weight if you're overseas. And I'm pretty sure it's 100% pure wool. It is 100% pure Australian wool. Pink, look at all that pink. Oh, and, it, and there is a little... Um, she must have used a wall. There's a little bit there. It's not, it's really soft. It's really nice. So, very excited. Um, I've looked at this in the past. I've always bought it, buying it up here because it doesn't seem to go on special. It doesn't have a, a colour number, a colour name, just a number, which is typical. And on the ball band is a pattern for a beanie. So, yes, number one. We have a Karen cake to add to the cake stash in the colour Funfetti. Never had that colour. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> then we have this Click Heat in California 8 ply, 100% pure wool. There's a full ball and another one. And that, that doesn't have a colour. It's like a rosy pink to a reddish pink. I can see a pure wool tea cosy in that. That's not, it's nice and soft too. Oh, what else have we got? Oh, we have another one of those in a lovely, like, silvery grey colour. Now, I've been looking for this colour because I've got this project idea running around in my head at the moment that's awesome and that could be enough for my project then there is heirloom easy care 12 ply i've never tried their 12 ply there's a ball of pink all of them just have numbers no um color names it's a 50 gram ball and this is Australian wool, pure Australian wool, and I can't even tell you the metreage, it doesn't tell you. But another ball of pink. We're getting into pink October. Then there's a Peyton's Jet 12 ply. I've never tried Peyton's Jet. This is great. I get to try all these yarns I've looked at and never tried. And this is 70% wool, new, pure new wool and 30% alpaca. No colour number, no colour name. It's like a beigey colour, beigey torpy colour. Just a gram ball of that. And then that looks like more of the clicky in you know, a beigey colour. Yeah. That's the same as that. Got one of those. And then there's Merino Blend. 49% Merino, 51% Acrylic Value Spotlight Ball. I think, what weight is that? 
doesn't tell you but it's a five millimeter and it's a, like a I guess they call it a, a four weight or ten ply but it's sort of in between three and four it's not a true four and that is lovely and soft in the mustard color this is awesome these are colors I really like to use then comes and there's heaps of it there is one two three four five six seven and that's that bag um, and this will be the click eaten the first one I showed you like the pink pure wool in a lavender color seven in that color oops dropped one and one in purple and that is awesome because that is for november i'll let you know closer to november why i want this color isn't this awesome janice bag number one you really are spoiling me i'll just pause the video and pack that one up so then bag number two arrived the following day and it, I'm really lucky. The ladies at my little post office, they wrote down my phone number and they're texting me when I've got mail. They know my um, knee is really quite sore and it's a small post office. So it, you know, that it reduces the number of people who go there and avoids COVID. Not that we're having many issues here, but yeah. And they also know I'm waiting on something from Canada. And they text me. I get a bit text about 8 o'clock in the morning. You've got mail from the ladies, which is awesome service. I think it's brilliant. So nice to have a post office like that because I can stop on the way home from work. I drive right past it. So then the next day I get a text and Sharon goes when I go, you've got mail again. <laughs> Oops, my address. Not that it matters because it's a post box. Of course, from Janice. How much wool yarn did you have? And I opened the top of it, but I couldn't even take a sneak peek because I have to cut it a bit more. I'll show you why. Because that would be cheating. Because she must have got smart to the fact I could open the top of it and have a look. She, she did say... I just put something in there for your travels. It came in a bag. Isn't this awesome? Oh, wow. Winks. All these pockets. This is an awesome craft bag. When I go to my um, Far North Queensland cancer, Crochet for Cancer meetings, I haven't been to one. Um, they have been having them, but with reduced numbers. And I tend to let the ladies who are stuck at home, get out and go. Um, I only go if they don't have the numbers. But I must drop off some blankets because they are mounting up. So everyone knew I was... Um, in my last video, I talked um, maybe before that, I talked about wanting to do a baby shawl. And I was for a christening shawl, so it had to be white. And I bought the pattern, but I was having trouble getting really fine white baby yarn that was suitable and Janet emailed me and goes I have all this baby yarn there is 1.3 kilos of baby yarn oh wow that is so soft and look how fine perfect absolutely perfect for sure so I have no excuses now. I have to knit a christening shawl. And it, she put it in this awesome travel bag. This is brilliant. Oh, God. My fairy godmother. You're spoiling me. So that was parcel number two. I'll just pause it there, guys. Oops. Okay, back again. Nearly didn't press the right button before. Um, and then I received... I had actually ordered yarn from Hobie. I won't be showing you all of it because some of it I've ordered to put aside for Christmas with some Aussie 
subscribers and Yami sisters. Um, I've had Hobie when I won a giveaway from uh, 2OG's Island Stitching. I'll have to look up and put a link to her channel. Um, I really like watching her Crossing the Ferry videos and haven't watched one for a while so I need to get back to that. But she sent me some Hobie yarn um, way back last year and I didn't mind it but I never really got around to ordering it. And the Australian dollar a couple of weeks ago really bounced back and the exchange rate was really great. But what was even better is if I spent 75 US, I got free delivery to Australia. And on the day, that worked out to about $125, which is really cheap. But I thought I'd have to wait forever. So when I got the email that it'll arrive on the 15th of October, I went, yeah, in your dreams, it won't get here by then. No, it got here on my son's birthday, the 13th of October. And I have resisted the opportunity to open it because I, I really know what's in it, but I'll share it with you. I just have to be careful I don't show the ones I bought for gifts. So one of the yarns I've wanted to try for quite a while, and I think it might be Reggie at J Hook who mentioned it, in a comment or video way back last year was Malaga this one and they were selling these packs and I actually had a project in mind but idiot me didn't read the pattern right and I actually need six colors there's five there so I've got to try and track down another color to go in this pattern um, it, it's a full weight I think yeah, it's a four weight, um, it's acrylic, and all the colours are numbers. Um, if you've ever tried the Malaga yarn, can you leave a comment below this video and let me know what you think? Um, I'd like to know what it's like to work with crochet or knit, because I do both. The pattern I have planned, would you believe, is both. And no, it's not a tea cozy. To take six balls but that was that one that was there they had different combinations and I bought that one for my project because for me the yarn buying at the moment other than what I'm being sent by my friend Janice which is awesome um, is has to be for a project so then I did hang on now I bought Hawaii 100% a cream premium acrylic just because I like the colour um, and I am making beanies at the moment. I'll talk about those in another video for a charity. Um, but yeah, I bought those because they're 50 gram balls and um, they were on special, I think. Mayflower Hawaii brand, 100% acrylic from them. There was two of those. Now this is planned for a project and I'm I, it's Lima 100% soft wool from South America in pink I think I just picked pink at the time because of the um, what was available and what I plan to do with it it's a good color it'll be easy to see the stitch definition so three balls of that um, and yeah 100% wool and it's a full weight. Well, it's supposed to be a full weight, but it's a little on the thin side. But that doesn't matter for my project. And then I bought Tivoli XL, which is what Antoinette sent me. I really liked it. There is a halo, but I didn't mind it. And I bought two in purple, two in lavender for what I'm doing in November. You'll have to watch the November video to see what I'm up to with purple. Um, you know it's not a colour I usually use a lot of. I know a lot of people like it, but um, yeah, it's okay. So bought four of those in that colour. And then I went a little nuts. And <laughs> bought the bright orange. It's almost fluorescent orange. In Tivoli XL because I thought it'd make a great kids beanie. So, oh, 
I did buy three. I think they were really cheap. I remember I bought three in that. That's a list of... And then I bought two in this colour in Excel. Um, yeah, beanies on the mind for the charity I'm going to be making beanies for. So there you have it. Can't show you the rest. You get a free pack of stitch markers, which is awesome. I've got a lot of stitch markers, so I might throw these in a yarn swap or a... Um, giveaway or just take them to um, my crochet for cancer group and donate them there and a lolly or a sweet or a candy depending on where you come from we call them lollies in Australia we call them candies in America and in the UK my son who's now been there so long he calls them sweets I can't show you the rest the rest is for upcoming Christmas gifts. I don't do a lot of Christmas gifts, but there are a couple of subscribers who've been with me from the start in Australia and whenever I buy from overseas, I know they're on a tight budget. So when I buy from overseas and especially when I can get free delivery like that, I tend to think of them and think might what they might like as a little Christmas gift and send it to them. So we pause the video yet again. My happy mail didn't end there. Um, Kevin, or Thing, my homie, is at the beach. It's early Saturday morning, the 17th. The house is quiet. And I thought, I'll do a video. I'll unpack all my happy mail so I can see what yarn Janice sent me. Um, yeah, he finally started going back to the beach for running and swimming this week. When we lost Baxter in July, our little dog, it really knocked thing around because being retired, they spent pretty much 24-7 together. Every second day, he took Baxter to the beach for a run and a swim, and then every other day, he used to run and swim himself. But he got a little concerned because he's getting a, a bit of a COVID spread since he hasn't been going and being married to a supreme athlete like me, he had to start going back to the beach. It was pretty tough on him in the sense that a lot of people down the beach used to see them and every day he's been asked, where's your little dog? And it's been, you know, a bit emotional for him. He comes back, he enjoys the exercise, but a little down. Are we getting another dog? No, not not soon. He's not. He said he's not ready for another dog, even though friends say, go and get another dog. No, Baxter was a member of the family. So happy mail for me is, and I'm not going to say who I got it from, we got a lovely card from Canada. Um, Kevin checks the household mail in the mailbox and um, he was over the moon. He couldn't wait for me to open it. He wanted to know what it was about. But yeah, it really touched Thing's heart when he saw the card about our loss of Baxter. So I know the person who sent it watches the videos and we thank you because it's really special. We have got a, like, a little book we've put together and Kevin wants me to put it in there and keep it. Um, because yes, Baxter was a member of our family, not just a dog. So thank you very much to the person who sent it. They know who they are. I just wanted to say how much it meant to Kevin. And he's at the beach today. Um, yes, keeping up with his supreme athletic wife. So I have a few finished objects. I don't want this video to go too long um, for me. I, I don't really, I can't really rub it on about things, but it is still pink October. And even though I've been busy and a little tired when I come home, I have made a few things in pink using some of the pink yarn that Janice sent me in the last stash, the wool stash. So I don't know. This didn't have a ball band, but I took all the pink out of it. There's a bit of grey left, and I think this pink is from my stash, but I made this lovey that goes over like it's separate. You can take it off a toy and wash it. Now this is Z from Z and RJ3 who had a birthday. Happy birthday, Z, again. 
Oh, I love this. I've made three or four of these. If you haven't tried this, you should. I'll leave a link to the tutorial. It's just perfect for parents with kids because they can wash them separately if they have separate instructions. And yeah, they can do it dry quicker too. So that was one of the things I made for Pink October and remembering Z's birthday. I then, I have said, started making beanies for charity. I'll talk about in another video. And I use this. This this Karen cake is part of, it's called, I think it's called Kiwi Fruit. And I didn't color control it. I just started with the green, carried on with the pink, finished with the green. There's still more left. And um, this is, of course, the Ross hat, the knitted pattern. because so I love this. And this is a perfect weight. For up here for beanies it's not too thick and heavy and the charity i'm knitting for isn't really fussed that it's got wool in it um far north queensland crochet for cancer it has to be 100 percent acrylic but um i checked with the, this charity because i haven't made anything for a while and yes they need beanies and yes they don't care what fiber it is um just different sizes and different styles so that was a Ross hat I made with some of the yarn. Um, Janice sent me, and of course, after the markets, my tea cozy stash is a bit depleted. So I've been experimenting with another pattern. Um, and this is yarn I've had in my stash for ages. It's pink and a baby like baby yellow, and it's lime brown pound of love, which Way back when I bought it, I must have been nuts. I didn't re realise when it said a pound of love, it meant a pound of yarn in each ball. I bought quite a bit of this. But yeah, I this is where I'm experimenting with putting two balls of yarn together, like I said before. And um, yeah, it, it's easier to do um, two balls of yarn together knitting than it is crocheting. And this is just a basic tea cosy. But yeah, I've been... I'm enjoying this trying two balls of yarn. So that's my finished objects for the week. Um, I've got a few other things on the go. But like I said, I've been tired. And today I have to drive somewhere to go and see someone. It's quite a drive, so I'm going to have to take a couple of breaks because of my knee. And um, I don't want to ask Thing to take me because it's just a lady chat. And he'll be bored and where she lives there's really nothing for him to go off and look at but the youngest son is cooking tea tonight so yeah when i get home i can still put my feet up so guys thank you for watching thank you to janice for sending the happy mail um thank you for the card about baxter it was awesome it really made our day and certainly made things stay and um don't forget if you have used Malaga or any of these yarns. I know what Trivoli is like, but if you've used the Hawaii yarn, let me know from Hobie what you think. Um, it was more about the packs and the colour range and the Great Australian Dollar Exchange. So yeah, let me know what you think before I start my project. So it's still Pink October. Don't forget if you make something in pink, hashtag it Pink October AU. And let me see what you've made. There's been a couple of posts. Um, I've been watching some new YouTubers and I didn't write down their names. But I will next video. I'll do a few shout outs. Um, they've got small channels and they're trying to get going. Um, there's been a Pink October from one of them. Now, I think it's Trish the Knitting Lady or something like that. I'm going to leave a link to her channel. She made what it looks like a pink hoodie cow, but she doesn't know how to hashtag. And please go and watch the video. I'll put a link to the video because it's awesome. And she's really quite funny. She, I've been watching her in my lunch hour. Plus, Rose likes crochet wishes for wings. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, please do. The awesome amount of donations that have been sent in blows me away. During these difficult times, it never ceases to amaze me how generous the crafty community is and it may, it restores your faith that not is all wrong with the world. 
that there's actually quite right in the world and there are a lot of nice people so please watch rose's video and watch it to the end even if you can't donate you'll be amazed i was um, i rarely can last longer than 30 minutes for a video but i was enthralled watching all these donations and kept watching it and watching and watching so yeah i'll put some links down below to a definitely disease lovey highly recommend you at least make one and see what you think rose's video and trish it's an, trish the knitting is it knitting lady i feel really bad because i've watched a few of her videos but there will be a link below please check them out check her out and subscribe and let her know she's welcome into our yarny community that's enough of me getting off on tangents um hope you have a great crafty day at least once this week i'm out of sequence thank you for watching thank you to all those loyal subscribers welcome to all those new subscribers i hope you stick around and keep enjoying my yarn adventures and until next time, take care of each other. And of course, have one pink crafty day. Bye for now.